Welcome back. A young Marine Corps veteran is grateful for something very basic tonight, sleep. Mm. You see, for years he was unable to rest because of chronic pain. But our reporting about the vet's struggle inspired a doctor to help. Steve Brown has the story in a Two on Your Side original report. I think I still need a few years to catch up on missed sleep, but uh, it's nice to be able to, to just go to bed and and sleep. <laughs> because for years, Marine Corps veteran Jordan Morrison didn't sleep so much as he passed out. An injury during a training exercise resulted in bulging discs in his neck, leading to a degenerative condition up and down his spine, leaving him in intense daily pain. After being awake for days, Morrison said he'd lose consciousness for a few hours before waking again in pain. Pills are what the VA gave Morrison, lots of them. In February, this is what Morrison said was a small fraction of the pills he was prescribed. Was any of it effective? No. Desperate, Morrison turned to non-hallucinogenic medical marijuana, but the VA does not pay for that or other kinds of outside care. Altogether, Morrison's out-of-pocket medical costs back in February, more than $20,000. Not exactly a happy story. But when our story aired shortly thereafter, Scott Levin. Hi, Scott. Hey, Steve. He got a text message from the daughter of famed orthopedic surgeon Dr. Andrew Cappuccino, who was wondering if there was something he might be able to do for Morrison. We're utilizing newer techniques and technologies that we hope can potentially save the need for big um, reconstructive surgery. The technique uses non-embryonic stem cells to regrow tissues, in Morrison's case, injections to regrow the discs in his lower spine. For me, it was an opportunity that I had been researching. I have done um, s multiple other patients and the outcomes have been outstanding. Some for Morrison, it's for been life-changing. We just want you to heal. I uh, well, appreciate you your, your you confidence much. in me. Oh, thank you for everything you've done. You literally have given me just hope again. Scott Mariel, I spoke with Jordan this morning. He still has some pain, to be clear, but for him, it's manageable. Also, he and Dr. Cappuccino are considering a second surgery over at Niagara Falls Memorial Medical Center. It would be the same procedure, this time to stabilize his cervical spine up around the neck mm -hmm. and maybe even more pain relief. And of course, we'll keep you posted as to his progress. That's amazing. You hear about the work of stem cells, but you know, it, it varies on the success, but it sounds like this one is really coming through. The longer, we're told, the longer this procedure goes, the more regeneration happens in between the discs mm -hmm. and the more stable the spine gets. So he's looking forward to a possible second surgery that could bring him even more relief. What's really mm -hmm. gratifying from a journalist mm -hmm. standpoint is that you identify a problem. We unfortunately couldn't find a solution, but somebody out there provided one. He sure so did. Dr. Right. Cappuccino is a genius and you know, you, it just tells people at home who have chronic pain there is hope out there. Absolutely. I've been there. I had back surgery also, so I know what it's like when you see that that gentleman who served our country in pain. It just just really it, it hurts. Well, we, but in a much better place today. Thank yeah, God. we look forward to the next update. Yeah, thank thanks, you, Steve. Steve. Appreciate